Family Guy says that he was born premature, and now he's just immature. <laughs> Y'all give it up for my man, Mike Barbaro! Well, welcome to BAPA. First of all, I want to thank BAPA for the easy access to the stage. <laughs> Do that. you think maybe with the $15 you guys paid, they could put some freaking steps there? <laughs> so I had somebody, uh, a friend of mine who couldn't be here tonight, I got a lot of friends here tonight, but a friend of mine who couldn't be here, she emailed me, she said, listen, I support you, I wish I could be there, but I know you're going to break a leg. <laughs> I'm like, really? How do you know that? You saw the stage. <laughs> Quite honestly, I want to make one thing clear right away. I do not walk like this from any extended time in prison. <laughs> I, um, I've got cerebral palsy, and uh, it's, it's funny. Uh, there's, there's pros and cons for that. Now, I found the pros first. I'm an only child. The doctors told my parents to quit while they're behind. <laughs> so I'm thankful because I don't have to share anything with anybody. The nice thing is I do tend to drink sometimes and sometimes I overdo it. My friends will probably vouch for that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but the good thing is nobody can tell the difference. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. The friends that really know me, the close friends, they know I walk straighter when I drink. <laughs> and uh, the, the third thing is, I get to share my God-given gift of physical comedy with everybody on a daily basis, pretty much. <laughs> now, there are some challenges. People ask a lot of questions. Why do you walk like that? What happened? And I, I'm honest. In my former occupation, it was a temp assignment. I was a crash test dummy for Ford Motor Company. <laughs> And uh, you can see that didn't last long. <laughs> I was actually driving to a meeting one day, and I was late, and I had to apologize and say why I was late, and I said, you know, I was test driving a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Bad accident. <laughs> uh, you know, then the other challenge with ZB is, who flew recently? Who's gone TSA through TSA? <laughs> Oh my gosh, most people hate TSA, like if you don't sign up for the pre-check, you got to take your shoes off, take your belt on, most, for most people they can do it in a timely fashion. For me, I got to balance my luggage, balance my shoes, I'm like this, I'm like, people are waiting, they're looking at their watch, they're like, holy crap, we got a flight to catch. I'm responsible for at least three or four missed flights <laughs> every time I go through TSA. I'm not the most welcome person in the airport. <laughs> but then they always pick me to pat down. Every time, I don't care where I'm going, sir, we have to pat your left leg down. Can, is there any sensitive areas we should know about? They must have seen me walking and thinking, he's got a weapon. <laughs> so they pat me down, any sensitive areas? I'm like, Dimitale, how far up are you going? How far right are you going? <laughs> so my mom's pretty overprotective, as you probably can imagine. Only child with a limp, right? So, she used to say things like, Honey, I'd give you my legs if I could. I'm so sorry. I'm saying, Ma, I've seen your legs. I'm okay. <laughs> Thanks for the thought. She was so overprotective. I didn't know I had a front yard until I was 16. <laughs> and then we'd go pool shopping for school when I was younger, right? And I'd be in the dressing room trying on these pants that I thought were ugly, but she liked them. So I put trying on the pants, she goes, stand up straight. I'm like, do you remember who you're with? <laughs> What's up with you? Every time she would buy me jeans, she'd buy a certain style. Guess what they were? Straight leg. Straight leg jeans. <laughs> like that's gonna fix anything. <laughs> she thought that was gonna help. Grocery shopping, another great experience. I, they used to have the carriages, I don't they still have now, uh, where the kids would sit in the bottom of the carriage. You know, they only, you know, while the mother was pushing. Well, the only problem was I fall out all the time. So, I don't know if it was her driving or just me being imbalanced. 
But I finally looked up to her after about the third time and I said, Mom, is this one of the miscarriages? <laughs> There was one uh, second grade incident where I found out that I was, kids thought I was contagious. You know, they were like, oh, oh. I'm like, my mom was really upset. Me, I flipped the script. I, my mom made lunches, they weren't all that good. <laughs> some were good, some weren't. So I flipped the script, I said, you know, I'm gonna turn this around. I started going around lunch area, lunch tables, go up to some kids and I'd say, I want your lunch. <laughs> any time I got any pushback, I said, do you really want a part of this? <laughs> Are you feeling lucky, punk? <laughs> well, I used to say I ate a lot of better lunches, but I ate by myself. <laughs> so dating, uh, as I got older, I wanted to start dating. I, I, there was challenges there. Couldn't get a date in high school to save my life. but. The dating site came out, so I got the guts to put my picture on the site, waist up, obviously. And, uh, so I put the picture on the site, somebody responds, I go to my first date, and she approaches me, I approach her, she's like, oh my god, are you Mike from second grade? In the car, she's back home, I'm eating by myself again. Fortunately, that whole, that whole tragedy is over with. I'm married to a beautiful woman. Yeah. Over 22 years. Yeah. yeah, she assured me when we were dating it had nothing to do with getting a good parking space in the rain. So it turns out that as I get older, I've got some other conditions I'm dealing with. I just got diagnosed with obstructive sleep apnea. So I'm in the dentist's office getting a uh, device scanned for myself, for my mouth. And she's like, Mike, you got, your tongue moves around a lot. You got an overactive tongue. You must be a great talker. I'm like, no, but I'm happily married for 22 years. <laughs> Hey, there's, there's two things I'm thankful for tonight. But one thing besides you guys being here is my buddy Brad. You heard him a couple of meetings ago, and he was making fun of all the straight guys. Well, I'm so thankful that I can't be included in that. <laughs> guys, that's my time. Thanks so much. All right. Be so on the lookout for my new instructional video. Walk this way. So good, he jumped off the stage. Y'all see how I was looking? He's healed. He's healed? healed. We don't got insurance. <laughs> <laughs> we just got paint on the walls. <laughs> I was here last time. It was wood. It wasn't even none of this. One more time for Mike Barber, y'all. Yeah. I wish you guys 